Something to seriously consider when you're working with the SharePoint site is whether documents should actually be checked out and checked in. This is a feature that you can enable in SharePoint and it may not be enabled yet and you may or may not be able to make that decision. But the idea is you can make it that if people want to work on a document, then technically it should be checked out so that people know that they can't make changes to the document. It's been checked out, it's in the process of being updated, usually things like standard operating procedures that have to be updated, sometimes annually. And once that update is complete, then the document is checked back in and people can see that a document has been checked out or checked in and they know whether they're working with the latest copy. And this stops duplicates also from being created all around the show. Now, if you're able to turn on or turn off the checkout, then you will be able to go to the settings button and you'll be able to choose library settings. From library settings, you can choose more library settings, and from there you can choose version settings. And this last option here, require checkout, um, specify, let me just zoom in, specify whether users can check out documents before making changes to the documents. So I'm going to require documents to be checked out before they can be edited. So documents can't be edited unless they're checked out. And only one person can check out a document, much like a library checking out a book. Only one person can check out a document at a time. So I'm going to go OK to check out. Now I'm going to click on documents to return to my documents. Now the whole idea here is if I'm going to make some changes to this document here, let me select it. I can, for example, go to my Show Actions button and I can go to More. And here is the option to check out the document. So I'm going to check it out because I'm going to make some changes. So I check out the document. A little red symbol now shows, which tells me that I have checked out this document so that others cannot edit the document. That means I can now download the file or just open it directly in a browser or in the desktop app and make changes, but nobody else can. When I'm finished making those changes, then I simply close the file if I've just opened it in a browser or upload the file if I downloaded it, and I basically now have to check it back in. So if I go to my Show Actions and I go to More, I can check in the document. Or maybe I didn't make any changes and I really didn't need to check it out because I didn't end up having to change anything. So I can just discard the checkout, which means that no changes will be saved. But if I check in the document, um, I can add some comments, um, updates, uh, well, let's say annual update completed. So maybe I had to do an annual update on this document and I checked it out did my annual update to make sure it was still current standard operating procedures and now I've checked it back in again and so check in. The little red symbol disappears and the document is now checked in and people are now able to work with that document. So it's something to consider is um, checking in and checking out of documents. Yeah.